Well, hi there. Okay, today what we're doing is uh, we've got a nice new another, a box, huh? Another new box. Uh, and in the box we have Paget or Paget, as they say, the race pads. These are the RSL 29s, uh, and I'm putting them on the Boxster. So I'll show you, do a quick pad swap for the track. Uh, and also a fluid flush because it's necessary to do that um, every, at least every spring, when you're in, when you're tracking your car. Uh, that's a requirement. If you're not tracking, you can probably get away with flushing maybe every two years or something like that. But for the track, it's required of the, of the requirement of the PCA uh, that it has to be at least maybe three months or something before your track date. So. Uh, fairly strict and honestly it's worthwhile I once was on a track uh, when I first bought this car and uh, I didn't hadn't had time to do a fluid flush and <laughs> I paid the price well I didn't have an accident but when you're barreling down that back straight and you're doing God knows you know 200 kilometers an hour and you push your pedal down and there's nothing there <laughs> It's no fun. So let's get to it. Today we're going to do a quick video about uh, swapping out uh, brake pads and doing a, a quick fluid flush. I have a set of track pads and I have a set of uh, street pads. Uh, it's really easy to change them out. Here you've got a pin back here. A pin goes through here. This uh, clip back in the back that holds it in place. A spring here that hold the two pads in place. And as they say, it's like toast in a toaster. So let's start by pulling out this little pin back here. Like that, little cotter pin. Setting it somewhere we don't lose it. Pull, pull this back out. We just push down on the spring a little bit. Poke that out. There we go, pin like that. Take this spring off like that. Now you may have uh, this bag, I've got them tied up because I don't use them, but uh, the brake pad wear sensor uh, line that will come through, possibly clip into here and then go down into your pads. Uh, as I say, I don't use that since I change my pads very frequently uh, back and forth on the track, I always know in what state they're in, so I don't need a brake sensor. Okay, after that, it's just a matter of pulling these things out, and they just slide out, like that. There we go. So, pop one out. Wiggle it a little bit. Now these are actually my Hawk uh, race pads that are on there because I, I'm trying to find out what squeaks and what doesn't. So that's why that's in there. <clears throat> you might, if you're fussy, you might want to put something on, on your brake caliper here so you don't scratch it. There we go. Now I mark these too. You see they're marked, this is like right in H for Hawk. Uh, so this is obviously the right out, and I tie wrap them together. Uh, okay, so these ones here are my right out. Okay, this one is goes this way, and this one goes this way. So these just slide in here, and if you can't get them in, if there's too much, if, which is often the case, then what you're going to need is you're going to need your spreader. So we will open this up a bit. It clears the disc. There we go, like that. And then we will push back the uh, the caliper, the uh, the pistons on the calipers to make a little more room. You might want to put a dop of grease on these. This is a uh, silicone brake lubricant. Okay. 
it, and it just pops right in there like that. Easy peasy. Just make sure you put this on the right side. <laughs> And the next thing, of course, here's the little cotter pin. Put the spring back in place and push this back through like that. Put the cotter pin back in. And that's it. Now, of course, the step that I missed here that some of you might want to do is if you have these uh, brake sensors that you want to put in, then these will clip into your pads. Uh, very often there's a groove. See, but in the, uh, in the track pads on the race pads, there is no groove to put them in anyway, so you don't have the choice. Now, the last thing, you've spread your calipers out, the, the pistons. So when you do your four wheels, and you'll have done this to all four wheels, usually and uh, when you get in the car first thing to do is push on that brake and it'll probably go right down because you push the the pistons out so you have make sure you do that before you move the car ask me how I know so we're going to do the brake fluid flush just a quickie pull out the little basket We'll remove some of the uh, brake fluid that's in there using the old turkey baster. Here, I'll refill the reservoir with new race fluid. Attach the motive power bleeder. Now some people do this dry, but I prefer to add brake fluid to the canister. Yes, you have to clean it after, but it's not particularly hard. There we are. That's one bar, 15 pounds. Should be about right, should be about right there, I think. Pull off those rubber nipple covers. Slip on an 11 millimeter box end over the tube. And tube goes over the nipple. and open the floodgates. There she be! Bleed for a bit. This is the longest one. Trying to keep relatively clean. Now, the inside nipple. Hey, 
care. Number one. This is the longest one. So I'm going to be bedding these uh, pads in at the track. This is the first time I've actually bedded uh, pads at the track. So I guess I'll stage at the back and because uh, I'll be doing some fairly radical things, stopping and going in the middle of straights. And uh, I don't think I want to have anybody behind me when I'm doing that. So that'll be in my first session. And then after that, apparently everything should be good. And uh, let's hope they do what I hope, which is not squeal like a banshee, like my hawks do. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, I said squeal like a banshee. And then I said, hmm, can you say that these days with all our political correctness? And then I said, well, what is a banshee anyway? So I had to look it up. <laughs> a banshee is apparently some sort of Irish spirit type creature. So I don't think that I'm going to run into any trouble with the political correctness police. I hope this video worked for you. Please click on that handsome racer dude in the upper right corner to subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell to get notified of upcoming good stuff. Oh, and please leave a comment. Love those. And you can click on the like if you like.